Welcome to Charge Heads. We're here, back with the TVR. We're actually gonna take the engine now. Some progress at last. So uh, yeah, I've got me and Stuart here and we're gonna crack on the whole day and see how we get on. Um, yeah. So it looks like uh, Stuart's made progress already. The TVR is in the air already. He, he doesn't mess about. Ugh. Oh, we're gonna take out this lump of, uh, I'm not gonna say junk. That'd be a bit rude, wouldn't it? Bo-tang, that's what. <laughs> nah, not that bad, they're good engines. They're yeah, good engines. Good engine. They say. Uh, Buick cast off. Oh yes. Uh, a very British engine. We didn't steal it at all. <laughs> and look, Stuart's uh, a little play with the paintwork here. Well, there's a few little bits in it. It's come up a bit nicer, so if we can give it some love at a later date, it might be, uh, yeah, workable, or at least uh, a little bit more presentable. But I'm gonna get the camera set up. For those who haven't been watching the TVR wedgie build, basically I am electrifying this TVR classic car and um, in the previous episodes you'll see me going to inspect the car and purchase it and also a number of other episodes to show the progress. Today we're taking out the engine to get it all prepared for the EV conversion company simply just to save some money uh, on the work hours and prepare it as much as possible so we can uh, do as much as possible before it gets to the EV conversion company which is going to be where the specialist EV conversion takes place. Enjoy! Now, you are handy, we can take this off. One seco. One has come and gone. So solid crew, we love it. Right, so the TVR is in the air, as you can see. And we are ready to take start taking out the engine, but we thought we'd have uh, one last hurrah of the Rover V8, or the Buick Special, as we all know. <laughs> Start her up, Stu, go for it. <laughs> Woo! She's a feisty one, isn't she? <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Thanks, Stu. Uh, definitely gave it enough revs there. Just get get rid of that little last little bit of fuel. <laughs> you got a breathing apparatus, so uh, you can. <laughs> All right. So yeah. We're gonna start uh, dropping the dropping the uh, fluids, 
take off the battery and away we go. See how we get on. Look at this beauty. This is what made all the noise. And look at this beautiful world that Stuart's putting out. I think I might have been done, be able to do better. And I've never done welding in my life. Well, look, <laughs> it's blowing there. Great welding. And there, look at that. Look at the pigeon shit. That's terrible. This is what you pay for, people, when you go to... This. And this is for sale, by the way. <laughs> uh, yes. £1,000, uh, one care flowner. Yes. As you can tell, it makes such a noise. <laughs> um, we will put this. So, what have we done so far, Stu? We've dropped the oil. We've dropped the Oops. coolant. Taken off uh, quite a few of the uh, wiring. Taken off the battery. Well, we haven't quite done the battery, actually, but we've taken it off. We've taken off the... Uh, taken out the fuel. Fuel lines. Fuel lines. Air boxes. Air filters off, and uh, the exhaust is off, as you might have already seen. So uh, we're thinking that if we take the rear wheels off, we can actually get the fuel tanks out as well. Uh, we've seen a lot of fantastic engineering. <laughs> um, engineering. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, the boys at TVR, and another interesting engineering by people that... Well, it might not be that... It might not all be the boys at TDR. It might not all be, no. It might be one of the 18 previous owners, Tim. Could have been one of the 18 previous owners. Uh, or more than one of them. Well, that's true. And um, I think we've now decided that, seeing as though she had, uh, I'm not sure if the, the video camera that we got up there pick it, picked it up, but I think we've decided that she is somewhat of a pretty pretty woman of, uh, of cars, having had many owners, um, 18 of them. There we go. So, uh, again, one of the reasons why I'm not ashamed of taking part in uh, such great British historical uh, automotive history like this uh, TVR wedge. Um, although, uh, the more and more we get underneath this and start playing around with it, it's, you know, I really need to speak to Electrogenic and get an idea of costs for um, EV conversions, you know, whether we go for the higher power one or keep the gearbox because the more I look at this car it's mm, you know how much work how much money will need to be spent um I can tell you it's going to be many pounds many many pounds uh yes so so we've got to be sensible about these things you never know we might have another project on the go after this one if we can save a bit of moolah um but what's next do what we got next to do we've got Exhaust off, done the uh, fuel lines, coolant, undo oil. Engine mounts, gearbox mounts, disconnect the prop shafts, um, disconnect the speedo drive cable, uh, take off the manifold, or disconnect the manifold so that we can get the engine out in one piece. Um, then we should be able to lift the engine. Then we will whip the prop shaft out, uh, get the rear wheels off and take a part of the rest of the fuel system and hopefully get the rear tanks out through the wheel arches because it looks like you can. It's uh, looking... <sighs> it's quite nice to see it on the air here. You can see all the uh, gubbins going on, the chassis, etc. Oh, we need to get the radiator out as well. Ah, yes, the radiator as well. Uh, and then I think... And there was a twin... Was it a 28 mil sump bolt? Something, Something yeah. ridiculous like that. So uh, if you judge a TVR by its sump bolts, then it's one to be reckoned with. All right, let's carry on. If you want to get a um, the air line here, so there should be. end of part one i hope you enjoyed it please uh, comment let us know what you think uh, it'd be great to get some feedback and um, there's plenty more to come uh, please like and subscribe and share with as many people who might be into this as possible because you know without other people 
uh, can't get this channel off the ground so uh, I really appreciate your help there and I'm not going to get any money to you know afford some better recording equipment as you can tell it's slightly lacking at the moment so uh, yeah please help me out anyway thanks and uh, I'll see you next time